Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and haven't done this in a while. We're going to be uh, doing an unboxing. You see, um, you may recall that I had to change out monitors on my Packard Bell Edge and 822 CDT. Well, this is still a Packard Bell monitor, and a good one at that, actually. It's not the original monitor model of monitor that came with the original. 822 but back when my dad bought it in 1995. I had one of those at one time. Actually I had it for many many years up until recently but it started uh, doing uh, very very uh, peculiar uh, things. Like it would take about an hour, about half an hour for the screen to uh, be bright enough to use properly. And so uh, which was a shame because the uh, plastics on the monitor, it looked like it was brand new and it ran great for many years. I got it at Value Village um, back in like 2011, I want to say. But it did good, but unfortunately I had to uh, do away with it just because it wasn't working right anymore. But ever since then, you know, I've been wanting to get the original model monitor, which is a 14 inch analog uh, Packer Bell monitor. It was the uh, bottom end monitor that was available at the time and overpaid a little bit for this but right here we have that same model Packard Bell CRT monitor and we're going to go ahead and unbox it bought this off eBay the seller accepted my offer I just uh, I just always been leery about purchasing CRT monitors from eBay because I, I haven't had this happen to me yet but I've heard horror stories about CRT monitors getting uh, completely smashed up in shipping and so we're just going to hope for the best here and hope that the monitor arrived in one piece so let's get started can you tell this came from eBay? <laughs> no, about these, uh, this packing tape covered in eBay logos. I hope this um, video won't turn into exa into a example of why you should never uh, have uh, CRT monitors shipped to you. But okay, I see what he did here. Um, that's smart. This uh, monitor came with the uh, attached speakers, but right now they are unattached, um, just to make. Um, it a little less fragile in shipping, so good job. These are uh, quite useful to have. So there's over the side, and uh, thank goodness there's there. It does so far look packaged pretty well. And we got the uh, power supply for the uh, speakers, which. I really don't need, but um, it's good to have a spare. And the uh, power cord from the monitor, again, don't need, but I like collecting these for because you never know when you'll need a one of those types of cords. Okay, I guess all that's left is the monitor. Okay, and it looks like it is concealed within another box. So, I need to get it so I can uh, grab it. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> My wife is uh, doing the camera work today. And she is definitely being helpful. All right, let's get this one open blade out here. Uh, 
Okay, um, this is a, uh, fort, a uh, 142S monitor, same model that I've been needing. And this one is an early model, actually. This was manufactured September 1994, so it is about a year older than the uh, computer that it will be used on. But still, it's still a perfect match, so... Okay, let's see if I can... get this, get this uh, piece of history out of here. Okay, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> you know what? I got an idea. Okay, I'm going to probably uh, inflict a flesh wound doing this, but I'm going to try and uh, just tear this box open. I don't need this box anyway. Just so I can have a chance at grabbing this thing. <clears throat> Okay, is this going to be enough? Nope. Uh, tough cardboard, which is probably a good thing. That's probably helped it survive the trip from uh, Oklahoma, which is where this came from. Okay, with some help from my wife, we were able to get this side of the box torn off so we can just tip it off up a little bit. And we'll just set it on the floor for now. And Okay, I don't know how well this is coming out, but here is the monitor in the flesh. And this thing looks immaculate. It looks brand new. Not one bit of yelling, yellowing on it. I hope it's not yelling. That would be scary if your uh, computer monitor started yelling at you. Maybe if the capacitors were failing. But <laughs> So, um, I guess what we need to do is attach the speakers. You know, I just realized, um, I hope he included the uh, hardware for that. I will uh, check that out and uh, be right back. Okay, got the... Uh, big 17 inch monitor um, off the desk in its place we have the new 14 inch monitor and so uh, I did find the uh, hardware for the uh, for attaching the speakers are right here probably help if I had a screwdriver which I think is over here and so let's uh, get to work putting these speakers on We'll uh, start with the right speaker. Let's see if I can do this without tipping the uh, monitor on the side. Because I imagine that's not the healthiest thing to, to be doing with a monitor. Well, so far, so good. I um, haven't noticed any damage. Plastic, no, no plastic chips or anything. So that is definitely good. Of course, the uh, real test will be when we uh, power it on. Again, this monitor is definitely inferior from 
the 17 inch one that it's replacing. This was the lowest end model uh, monitor you could get from Packard Bell. But it's the monitor that matches this computer historically. And that's just what we're going to go with. Okay, that's one screw in. Okay. I think. And that's as best as it's going to get. <laughs> and now for the left speaker. See if I can do this from over here. Sorry if my rear has been blocking the view. <laughs> okay. Boop. Okay, that did it. Come on. All right, last one. Let's go. Things I do for cheap nostalgia. Actually, not cheap nostalgia. This cost me quite a bit. <laughs> and I was desperate. Gone are the days where you can get this uh, vintage equipment for uh, just a couple of dollars at Value Village. I remember. Ten years ago, around 2010, 2011, this is what my channel thrived on, was stuff I'd find at the Greensboro Value Village. But a few years ago, it went out of business. The nice thing about Value Village was, everything was dirt cheap. But now, you have to rely on eBay for this stuff. And eBay ain't cheap. So yes, I do miss the days when Packard Bell equipment could be had for quite cheap. Of course, the uh, downside was you never you didn't know if this would be there until you actually got to the store. And I just need to plug the left speaker into the right speaker. There we go. And I'm just going to use the existing power cords that the other monitor was using. And I will attach uh, speaker power. Whatever it is. And now for cable from the speakers to the computer. Okay, it's working. I heard some popping. Here we go. 
Now for the VGA cable. Get this rubber band off without it snapping on me. that for another day and let's get this attached oh what was that oh that was my router power cord for my router is very short and it is high up on this desk hutch and so that is a combination for a disaster. Why would a router have such a small power cord, though, I wonder? Because the, the goal for these is to have them as high up as possible for your Wi-Fi signal to be good. But maybe I'm incorrect on that. <laughs> Okay, now all that is left is power. So this is when things are going to start getting real here. Okay, no explosions yet, which is always a good thing. Everything in position like I want it. <laughs> Already, I have more desk space with this. It's another benefit of having a, a smaller monitor here. Desk real estate is more optimal. Now I might have been blocking everything. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Moment of truth here. Okay, we got an amber light for standby. Now let's power the computer on and just hope for the best. Look at that. I think this is a real winner. Picture as, cr as crisp as can be, bright as can be. Yeah. Oh, this is great. This is great. Might have to adjust it for the horizontal centering. That can be arranged. Let's get network log on. Sound like the speakers worked. <laughs> I am going to have to adjust it slightly. Go. Now, I will admit these Packard Bell monitors are not known for their high quality uh, images. In fact, they're highly unreliable. The uh, original monitor that came with my childhood, 822, only lasted about two or three years before it went kaput. And so we had to go to a uh, in-town uh, computer store and buy a used Gateway 2000 uh, monitor to use in its place. So, uh, yeah, I... 
Even a Packer Bell aficionado like myself will admit these are not known for high quality. But when you can find one that works and works well like this one, I think you're having a pretty good day. Okay, I got everything uh, set up the way I want. We'll adjust that a little bit. But it is very nice to have this uh, monitor back. Everything seems to be working just fine with it. See how Navigator looks on it. Welcome from Packard Bell. We offer you two computing environments to choose from. Packard Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. Speakers work great on this monitor. Um, the left speaker wasn't plugged in all the way, so I just took care of that just now. So yeah, it, this is great. <laughs> and it's nice having the uh, desk space again on this uh, desk as well. Was that monitor, the other monitor I was using, it was a, it's a great monitor. Very good monitor, but it's just not ideal for this uh, setup. And we will uh, let's just test it out with a game. Uh, how about Putt Putt Joins the Parade? All of my Putt Putt Goes to the Moon videos as of late have been uh, content ID'd because of the music for some reason. And I think that's because they're fixing to release an album of the music from Putt Putt Goes to the Moon, so. Yeah, I'm going to have to be careful from now on playing Putt-Putt Goes to the Moon on the channel, unfortunately. But Putt-Putt Joins the Parade should not be a problem. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. Come join me on my adventure. I'm ready to go. This looks period correct. <laughs> mm, morning breakfast. And so there we go. So yeah, I'm very pleased that this monitor uh, survived um, shipping. That's not always the case, unfortunately. But this is the third uh, CRT monitor, I, CRT product, I guess I should say, that I've purchased um, in the past year. I've purchased a Gateway 2000 monitor that arrived in one piece. Purchased a uh, that uh, Montgomery Ward uh, TV from 1984 that arrived in one piece. Now this one arrived in, run, in one piece. But... Um, do buy monitors, though, at your own risk, off eBay. Just because I've had uh, good luck with them doesn't mean you will. <laughs> it just depends on, uh, for one thing, uh, the seller and how well they uh, package it. This, um, they packaged very, very, uh, very well. So I was very pleased with that. And I hope to get a few, um, at least a few years out of this uh, Packer Bell monitor. You know, um, these CRTs, they're not going to last forever. And eventually, um, when it comes to vintage computing, I think everyone at some point is going to have to uh, move over to a uh, LCD display. But for the time being, um, just enjoy these uh, CRTs while you can. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Billy Corr, signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.